The Kelly clan is kicking off a new phase of their summer mining campaign. We've realized the reaper that we have isn't going to work, and we need to build something so we can get down the coast fast. We're going to have to rethink our whole setup. The meat and potatoes rig consists of an eight-foot square platform equipped with an 18-horsepower engine. Very small, very fast, can withstand eight-foot waves. Four pontoons support the 400 pounds of its tiny frame. Come on back. Which seems more fit for a bathtub than the Bering Sea. The best $1,000 investment we've made yet. See how it planes? This combination with the sickle and our speedboat, it's what we need to do our prospecting. Without this combination, we wouldn't make it. The small yet durable sickle can be towed by the jet boat at speeds up to 20 knots, 10 times faster than the Reaper. And the lighter design allows it to ride over waves that would capsize the bigger vessel. With the sickle, Chris can prospect 20 miles beyond the bluff the spots he believes will bear golden riches. This is my first marker on the map. We have to stop here. Okay. I've done a lot of research. I went back 100 years, and on the west side of Darby Mountains, there's been a lot of gold strikes in the land. There's the theory where a glacier takes off the whole top edge of the land and pushes huge concentrations of gold. So there has to be gold in the ocean. They didn't have the technology back in the day to mine offshore. So we'll be the first ones to get it. We made it. Going for broke on untested ground. We've got to make this work no matter what. The captain is all in on his geological theory. OK, be careful. We're going out for the big ball. Jack, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Time to find some gold. Oh. What's the matter? Well, uh, the ground looks like all sand. I'm not finding any gold in it. I kind of find how deep it is. Gold is so dense, it sinks through light material like sand until it reaches a layer firm enough to catch it. Down. No cobble. So, no cobble, the less likely there's gold. This is stupid, actually. That's a idea. Stop finding, don't worry. This is only our first area. We're going to keep going and we're going to make this whole thing worth big time. OK, keep working. One hundred miles east of Nome. Chris, you've been down for hours. How's it looking down there? You seeing gold? After leading his family far up the coast aboard the tiny sickle. We got sand, sand, all sand. All Captain Chris has churned up. No gold so far. Is a big goose egg. You can't find gold. Not find it. Don't worry. It's probably the biggest gamble we've taken. I mean, it's the farthest we've ever gone. Time to get the out of here. If we do break down, there's no one we can call. We'd be stuck, stranded. It's a dangerous situation. OK, you're done. Andy's going to pull you up. Let's just keep prospecting further down the coast. I'm not in for failing. Maybe you should drive with me underneath the boat. OK, just hang on. We'll guide you. OK, sounds good. <sighs> We're going to go to plan B. Chris's plan B, a risky tactic known as live boating, where the anchor is pulled and the diver is dragged along the bottom by the dredge. Now move it, baby. The goal, cover more ground quickly. 
Moving the boat while a diver's underneath the water is extremely dangerous. You could get pinned underneath the rock, probably break your leg, maybe you get your mask ripped off your head, drowned underneath the water. I know what I'm doing. But I've invested too much into this mission to waste any time at all. Hey, there's rocks in this sand. sit next to me. Go over there, grab your chair. After returning from their first prospecting mission down the coast. That's virgin ground right there, man. It's all fine coal, but there's a lot of it. Thank God. It's time to see whether the high-risk plan paid off. OK, here, here we go. A moment of truth, what we worked for. We just hit one, two, two three, three, four, four five. five. Did we get to six? We're we got to right, six. 6.225. Ounce an hour. Good job. High fives for everybody. 6.22 ounces is worth over $7,400. So I think the sickle went really good. It went fast. We got there, it was safe, you know, but way better than the Reaper would have done. For the Kellys, it's a modest start for what could be a grand new beginning. We just need more time. We just need a lot more time. Dude, the whole coast down there is loaded. I want more. I think we're on to something really special here. We left off on a lot of really good spots. We left a lot of really good gold. We're going to go back there, and we're going to hit it hard again. This represents a whole new game, a future for us. I see the potential of becoming a millionaire. The next gold rush is there. We just have to find it. Pound for pound, the best operation around. We're going to be rich. Yeah.